Uh, Tracy, my mod, wanted to know, can you please share a story about writing Ergo and how did you feel about writing for Dom DeLuise? Oh, boy. So Ergo was, again, I, I don't know why. I, I, I do gravitate again towards comedy. And um, I, I definitely wanted to, again, that was my imaginary friend episode in other words, that's, how it, that's, <laughs> right. that's how it that's how it came out like i wonder if you know again one and i don't know i don't remember how it got developed that all of them had it what i do remember very spe specifically um in fact this might have come first before the whole concept of ergo but i do remember very specifically that what my my what if you know what if um, the SG-1 walked into the gate and then came out and, you know, again, they, they think they never, they're, they're confused because they think they never left. And it turns out that they, they've been gone for 16 hours. So that actually was the window, the gate, as, as you were, into the episode. And like, okay, what do I do with this? Like, okay what happened on the other side in those 16 hours that they were gone. Hmm. And then, it, yeah, somehow I thought about the, well, something hasn't happened, but something does, but something, you know, it has to be hidden somewhere, hidden imaginary friend episode. And then it started <laughs> going through. So that was the genesis of that. And then, um, I remember having fun with it. I think halfway through the, I, I think I remember talking to the guys and they were saying, you know, Peter's been looking for something for his dad. Maybe this one will be it. But he didn't want to promise me anything. Right. Peter DeLuise. Um, and so I just kept, writing it and yeah I had a funny first first two drafts and then i know it was polished by um yeah brad and 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 uh and and robert and then um as i think is well known dom de louise did a lot of ad lib <laughs> so i again i would be interesting to see my the, the 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 two drafts and the polish of how how it developed and what actually i came would out love to see them i would love to too but they're locked into you know some old there's got to be a way to dig to to pick the lock there's got to be yeah. um that's it's it, you know there was there was a lot that that was a polarizing episode for a lot of people um, it, in really? a lot of, in similar regards to the episode 200, there are people who, who loved it and there were a handful of people who didn't. And I mm. think that it comes down to whether or not you like that style of comedy. Um, mm. if it doesn't work for you, you know, right. you're not going to enjoy it. But the vast majority of, of fans look back on that episode with like, wow, what a, what a piece of work that was, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a great show. It, it really was. I, I think you know, it was great. He gave me a signed cookbook of his, um, <laughs> and just great. And I, it 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 was, and I didn't spend much time with him at all. Um, I mean, he was down doing doing his thing mm -hmm. below, but um, I heard again that it was, uh, you know, he's ad living a lot of a lot of stuff, and and you know, to the credit of. Uh, both the actors and and the editors, um, they put it all together in in a way that still made complete sense. And as you see the result, a lot of fun. So, you know, that's the magic of of film and really terrific actors who can roll with that, uh, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, when when you give a, a, a juicy piece of content to to the right person. They're just going to make a meal out of it. So yeah. we got yeah. to see that a lot in the show. Yeah. Dan Ben uh, wants to know, were there any deleted scenes or stories that you recall uh, that were removed from scripts 
or threads pulled out of scripts that you really wish had stayed in the show. You referenced William Faulkner killing your killing your darlings. Um, is there any of that that you can recall specifically uh, that you had to to deal with as as you you worked through this? Gosh. It, not specifically, okay. no. I think there's just always the, again, I was really excited to finally get my words into an actor's mouth. So I think whatever came out of that was always, you know, terrific. And and again, to the executive producers and, and the set designers, everything else, they made the page come alive. So, you know, I'm just really grateful that that happened. And it, 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 you know, whatever was left on the cutting floor. It had its reasons for being there. Yeah. I, yeah. I again, cause, because at the, the, you can't have too many chefs in the kitchen. True. So, Again, Dom DeLuise or otherwise. Yeah. And I, I, again, I don't know how others were interviewed about it, but Richard to me was, was a good team player. I mean, he did not have like the ego of a star or anything else like that. Like he had corrections. <laughs> I mean, his mom, I think was uh, an English teacher of some sort or something like that. So he was, um, I remember making like small notes about my scripts about grammar here and there and things like that. But just because I thought that that's what he would say. Um, but in any case, there's, I think, you know, the lesson for anybody who's on a, a television show is that, you know, the executive producers are, you, you ultimately you have to have one captain of the ship. And in the case, here was kind of a hive mind of at that time, uh, 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 Brad and Jonathan, and so, you know, when things got left off, I mean, there there were, you know, I know, like, kind of arguments or not arguments, but discussions with the Air Force because they allowed us to be using them, and you know, you just had to rewrite it because you know every script had to be submitted to the Air Force and they had to tell us what was real or what was, you know, not real and also what doesn't present us well so we can't do that um, or we don't want you to do that. So, again, um, you know, you, you just have to, uh, again, for anybody who's wanting to be a TV writer mm -hmm. or even, a, a you know, a screenwriter, um, you know, ultimately you have to surrender to, to get things done. You have to surrender to one person's vision and just do the best that you can for that, for that. So, um, I'm sorry that I can't remember anything specific, but I guess that's a way that I just, you know, let, I mean, the, the example is again, the eerie wind blow, like there wasn't a wind machine, but, um, in, in spirits, but you know, uh, it still was fun. Thanks for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. You can find the full live stream shows on our YouTube channel or visit dialthegate.com for the complete schedule. See you on the other side.